The Epson Edge Print software lets you manage and edit print jobs. Click Add to add a job to the job list. To nest jobs, select them and click Nest. To unnest an individual job, select it and click Unnest. To unnest all jobs, select the nested job and click Unnest. To remove a job, select it and click Delete. Click Rip to rip a selected job without sending it to the UV flatbed controller software. Click Print to send a selected job to the UV flatbed controller software. The job will be automatically ripped if it hasn't been already. Click Hold to prevent a job from being printed when auto print is enabled. Click Cancel to cancel processing for a selected job. Enable Operator Mode to show a selected job as it appears inside the printable area. Enable Auto Print to automatically send all jobs with an idle status to the UV flatbed controller software. To view previously printed jobs, click the Printed Job tab. To remove a job, select it and click Delete. To send a previously printed job to the UV flatbed controller software, select it and click Reprint. If you want to change the settings of a previously printed job before reprinting, right-click it and select Change Settings and Print. This will move the job to the job list. A preview of a selected job is displayed in the preview area. You can adjust settings for idle jobs using these tabs. The Job Info tab displays detailed information about the selected job. You can select a quick set from the drop-down menu. File information and settings are displayed here. In the Basic Settings tab, you can select Media Type and Print Quality. In the Layout tab, you can select the number of copies and the image size, position, and rotation. You can also change the size or position by dragging the image or its anchor points. Select this icon to lock or unlock the aspect ratio. Click this checkbox to mirror the image. In the lower section, you can select centering options, as well as image arrangement settings for jobs with multiple images. When you adjust the arrangement option or job interval settings, you must click the icon next to the settings field to save your changes. In the Color Settings tab, you can select CMYK and RGB profile settings. If your job has an embedded profile, select the related checkbox. In the Color Replacement tab, you can select and replace spot colors in your job. If your image contains spot colors, they will be listed here. If there are no colors listed or you would like to choose a color directly from the image, click Edit, then click Eyedropper, and then click on the image to create a color sample. You can replace a color in the list by selecting it and changing the color values here. In the Mark tab, you can add frame lines, trim marks, and job labels. In the Crop tab, click the Enable Setting checkbox to activate the feature. You can crop to specific measurements using the fields or drag the anchor points. In the Tiling tab, 
Images can be divided for large-scale printing. Click the Enable Setting checkbox to activate the feature. Then customize the tiling options and overlap settings. The Layer Setting tab becomes active when you select a single layer. You can change the position of a layer in the Adjustment menu. To create a white or varnish layer, select an applicable layer from the job list and apply the appropriate settings from the WHVR version menu.